Hey guys, it's Tanya, and um, so today we are going to do something a little bit different. Um, I see that my camera is kind of having a hard time focusing on everything, but this is my latest haul. I got some stuff from um, Timu, um, and I got some stuff from Etsy. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I bought, and as you can see, it is a lot. So um, yeah, let me just put some stuff away and we can start opening okay, guys so this is going to be a little bit long because i have quite a few things but hopefully you guys enjoy the video um so get yourself a cup of coffee or tea whatever you drink a soda i don't know but um yeah so i haven't did a haul video in so long right so the first paper collection that i got and this is the only paper collection that i got um was graphic 45 and it is called um life abundant and so i got the um solid the patterns and solids right and you know what i should have got i should have probably got two of each so i might order another another one um because the christmas album i just did yeah i used a lot of paper so this one is the actual um pattern paper this is the main one right and let's let's go through it real quick look how pretty right y'all isn't that just gorgeous just so pretty i love graphic 45 y'all know that so i can't wait to use this um you guys know that i'm always saying i'm gonna make a personal journal and most of the time i do yeah but i end up selling it but like i don't think if i make one with this collection i will not be selling it um i just think it's so pretty you know what i wish graphic 45 made fabric wouldn't that be amazing um, to have these beautiful images on a piece of fabric? You know, I, I wish they made fabric. And maybe they do. And I just don't know. You know, so if they do, let me know. But it's gorgeous. And it's like um, different, um, what are those called? Not seasons, y'all. Y'all know them. Months. <laughs> it has a different months in here. So, like, if you wanted to make a big old, big old journal for yourself, right? And then, you know, just made a whole bunch of little, um, uh, what are they called? Like, traveler's notebooks or something. Oh, you could probably make uh, a container and, f and fit them all in there. That would be cute. That might be something I might look into. Um, I know Genevieve Designs has, like, um her crafty companion and we could probably make that um into something like that couldn't we that would be a fun idea hmm i'm just thinking out loud guys um so look at that isn't that pretty i just oh, i love the colors i love the black um and then you have all the vibrant colors oh, look at this one for october isn't that pretty that's pretty then we have the one for November, right? And then, we, of course, we have the one for December. And then, of course, you get a sticker sheet, right? So that is that, right? Okay. Let's move this one out the way. Okay. And then we got... I got the eight um, eight by eight. I always get an eight by eight because um, I don't know. I just always do. Um, and then I got the different ephemera packs. So this is what this one looks like, right? And then I got the um, ephemera assortment. And I love these because, y'all, you know how some of um, the die cuts you get in a paper collection, they have that real big thick border around them but these don't and look how pretty that is right i just absolutely love this collection so that is the paper collection that i bought um and i will link the etsy seller that i bought this from okay so now let's get into the timu haul okay guys so i i split it up in sections so we're going to do the dies and the stamps first right so these are the dies and the stamps that i got um this is not sponsored by the way i just went on there and bought bought stuff okay um so this is a pocket die and i love it it comes with the um whole reinforcers and everything like that i can't wait to use that and then this one um can never have too many envelopes so i bought another envelope die and these are really tiny 
um yeah like really tiny look out look how little they are so that's gonna be cute then this is um just a little tag die i thought it was bigger uh, it looks bigger on the website but that's okay i can always use it got some stamps um these look like ticket stamps so you guys know that i've been trying my best to get into stamping um so we'll see this one is a library card um pocket die so it flips over and then it has the bow um too okay so that looks fun and then we got another pocket die right love 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 all that and then we have this one so these are like mm, ovals or whatever but i was thinking that um you know how i did the one slit these would probably go really well on there so i can cover it you know how uh you want to oh guys i don't know what it's called but you know the look where they have the piece of paper right here and then they have the slit in the middle and it just looks really cool so that's why i bought this die i know that didn't make sense but yeah anyway i bought these because um can you see those you probably can't see those because for some reason these are not coming um let me see there you go so they're like uh the bulldog clip so it's a die and i thought that would be really cute i love these right and then i bought this die so it's a tag die so um i don't really know how it works but i'm assuming it cuts out the hole and then you could put um some acetate right here and then something right there so we'll see I have, to, I have to um play with this a little bit got some more nesting dies and these are oval because i do not have the shape and another set of nesting dies and um they look like uh jagged pieces of paper so i thought that would be cool because the journal that i'm going to be making soon i'm going to need kind of paper that look rugged i think so got that and then these are um tab dies um so i was thinking so how I am going to use them is like, you know, you put them on a piece of paper and then you cut that out and then you have it like a tab, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's how I'm going to use them. We'll see, y'all. You never know. And then I got some more stamps. So these are like um, labels. And then I got these pretty mushroom stamps. Look how pretty they are, y'all. Look how pretty they are. So I got that. Okay, so those are my dies and my um, stamps that I bought. Okay, and then I bought like some ephemera. And um, I'll show you guys real quick. So I got these. These are like, um, uh, what are those? Like frames, right? Um, different colors. Um, they're very, um, really pretty. Cut out really nicely. Uh I figure I could do with, you know, make them with tag, make some tags with this. Especially like when I make the real lacy journals, right? I think they turned out, I mean, I think they will turn out really pretty. Hopefully, you know, I don't know. You know, because I haven't used them before, but they look fun. So, I got those. And I got some more. So, these are just more like a doily um, kind. I don't know why I keep holding it up to the camera like you guys can really see that. You can't see that. I'm sorry. Um, but like they look like this, right? Yeah, real pretty. So I'm really excited about using these. And then I got, um, these are, I think these are stickers. Guys, so I'm going to make a fairy journal. So, right, so I tried to get stuff that looked like nature and things like that. So this is what they look like. And they and they got like burnt edges and stuff. So that is that. Right? Can't wait to use those. Okay, I'll move that over. Oh, and guys, look. So I figured like in the fairy journal that I'm going to make, because I am going to make one. Um it's like a notebook, but I figure you can um put a couple of them together and make it a tag right and put an eyelid right there wouldn't that be so cute right that's what i was thinking so that's why i bought that and then these are just little um i guess they're like uh i don't know what they call 
like little numbers and I thought that would be in um I thought that would go good on tags I'm trying my best to do more collaging guys so I'm starting slow right okay and then of course you know we got some um, pressed flowers and we got this big old thing of dried flowers I think they use this for resin but you guys already know I'm not using it for resin but um, I liked how it came in a container and so I got it right so this is what it looks like so it's like a little plastic to go container but you know um, I think I bought some from Amazon they came like in a bag so I appreciate the container I appreciate the packaging so this is what it looks like right oh that's gonna be beautiful I can't wait to use these okay and then we got some of these right all right and then I got some mushroom stickers because why not I'm always doing a nature journal so I need stickers so look how pretty they are y'all look at that can't wait to use those right okay that's pretty and then I got some um, more stickers these are green fluorescent stickers look how pretty and that pretty so yeah so um the journals that I, I really want to make are and, and I got two packs I got another one it looks different one is green and one is like a blue green right um, I want to make a uh, a fairy journal and I want to make a uh, not a little mermaid but a mermaid journal right and I already bought the papers and I'm gonna I guess I can link those down there um, for you guys um, I bought them from um, ink and page I believe that's the name of the shop Etsy shop guys she does digitals and her digitals are so pretty those are the digitals that I use for the celestial journal I'll link that up here um, and you know sometimes you know even though I make digital sometimes somebody just does it better and I'm cool with that I look hey I mean everybody has their thing right so these are uh, some vintage travel postcards you know like so oh yeah look how cute look at that okay let me try to get them out y'all I don't I probably won't be able to get all of them out but let me get some of them out oh yeah because I do want to make a travel journal too. Oh, I love these, y'all. This was a only thing about it is is like a um it's a shiny texture. So if that bothers you, um you probably won't like them, but that doesn't bother me at all. Not one bit. Look how pretty they are. Oh, I love that. Okay. I am happy with that. Um, I don't know how much these were, guys. Um, uh, you guys, I, I, okay. So I definitely will link the dies. Um, and I definitely will link, um, what else? The dies um, and the paper collection. Um, but all this other stuff, y'all, y'all just going to have to tell me, like, Tanya, what did you say to get that? Because, y'all, I, I got a lot of stuff. You know, um, so I, I wouldn't be, it would be just hard to link all that. So if you want something specific, just let me know, okay? Um, and then we got some talk stickers. It says small talk stickers, right? Um, you know, they say stay simple, great things, be awesome today, stuff like that. Um, you guys know what they are. Hold on. And, oh my goodness, y'all. So this is what they look like. The paper is kind of not as black as a Tim Holtz one. Um, but I mean it is good for me since I am just starting to get into collaging and things like that. So this is a good practice before I spend you know money on Tim Holtz. Right? Because um, you don't want to mess that up. And we got some more postcards. Guys, I probably should have opened this, but I wanted to, I wanted to, um, you know, open it with you guys. So I didn't open it. I was, um, I was so excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to open all this stuff. 
Uh, so I can open it with you guys. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, that was in there tight. Okay. Oh, yes. What'd you guys think? Pretty cool. Love it, right? Absolutely. These were a good purchase. Good, good purchase. I love these. Okay. So then I bought um, envelopes, right? I know you can get these off of Amazon, um, but um, they were, they came up, so I was like, oh, I'll just put these in my cart. So these are like little envelopes like this, which is pretty. I think that would be really pretty. And Nature Fairy Vintage Journal, right? Then I got another one because um, I like green. And it was only like... It's like one big one, but it's really pretty. I'm so disappointed about this because I thought it was more like more like two or three. But it is only one. It's okay. It's all right. Probably won't purchase this that one again because I think it was like a dollar something for one. And not that that's a bad thing, but eh, I'm okay. So this is like tissue paper, right? And I absolutely love 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 it right look at this you see that oh my gosh I can't wait to use this I was thinking about using it in my fairy journal what do you guys think I think that's gonna be cool or my nature journals so you guys probably will see this a lot okay and so now we're gonna get into the um, laces and things okay guys so um, I wanted to show you guys I got these really pretty iridescent wax um, the pellets <laughs> I think they're called pellets right and then I got some really pretty cute wax seals so this one is a mermaid uh oh can you see that you probably can't see that I don't think you can but it's a mermaid right and then these are gorgeous so they're like frames and they have flowers in there. They are so pretty. This was so worth it. And then I got the inks um, to color in, you know, on the wax seal. So I got those. And then um, this one came with, um, or one of these came with the handle. I think it was this one that came with the handle, right? So I got those. And then I got, I got quite a bit of lace because I don't know... I've never ordered it from here, so I wanted to see, like, was it worth the money or not. Um, so this is really pretty, right? I think, I think it was okay. I, I think, you know, it was okay. I, might, I think I paid, like, a dollar, maybe two dollars for it. So this that was cool. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yep, I like that. Oh, and then I got these charms right here um, because I was like, oh, this would be cute because... Every time I think about mermaids, I think about like pearls and purple and iridescent colors. So I thought those would be really pretty to go on like as charms, right? Okay, so that's that. And then I bought this mermaid keychain because I thought, you know, why not? Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I think that'd be really pretty on the journal as well. And then I got, um, hold on guys, I'm trying to put everything back. OMG, okay. Um, I got these, and they're hair bows, but, you yeah, guys, I was thinking that you could take it off and disassemble them, right? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. You got like tentacles, like, right? Isn't that pretty? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, guys. But, I mean, if you're going to do a mermaid journal or a fairy journal, you might as well go all out, right? And get the and get the fun things to go in it. That's what I think. But, I mean, I could be wrong. And then I got this, right? Because it looked like sea glass, right? So, that's why I got it. And I thought it would be pretty on the on the um, mermaid journal, right? And I'm trying to figure out what else I get for this mermaid journal, um, guys. Hold on, just a second. Um, I think that's it. 
yeah, I think that's all I got for the Mermaid Journal. And then I bought these because I love strawberry shortcake and I am going to make a strawberry shortcake journal one day. Um, so I know they're earrings, but still, aren't they just so cute? Look at that. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, got that. And then I got this. This is like some um, glitter. And I was figuring like I could put this when I do the mermaid journal. Kind of put that in something. I don't know. Then I got some more wax seals, right? Um, and then I got, oh, look at these guys. Oh my goodness, y'all. I got a lot of little tiny things. Um, like embellishments and stuff like that. These are, oh guys, they put them in. I'll just put it in there. They put it in these little packaging. So look, it's like seashells with the pearl in there. Isn't that pretty? Y'all, it's going to be so cute. Um, hanging off a paper clip on a journal, don't you guys think? I can't wait to do this journal. I'm really intimidated by it, but I think once I get into it, I'll be okay. You know, because I mean, I've seen a lot of people do fairy journals very well and mermaid journals very well. Um, hold on y'all. What is this? Oh, I bought the earrings because I figured, you know, you can kind of, um, you know, disassemble them and put them together. So this is a, a fairy. Can you guys see that? Isn't that cute? I figured that would be cute on the fairy journal. And then I bought these because why not have these really pretty, um, fairy looking woodland things on there. <laughs> And then I bought some more earrings, and I believe these are like butterflies, isn't that pretty? So pretty. I was figuring you can use it for your journal, right? Um, and then I bought some more laces, so I got some um, velvet ribbon, I got, this is the, I got, I think I got two of these, so I got two of those, and they got kind of got like shells on them. Then I got another pack of like cream color um, lace. I don't think you can never have too much lace, but that's just me. But look at that, isn't that pretty? So pretty. Look at the um, look at the pattern, right? I thought that was really great. Um, so that. Then I got this, which I don't know what it is, but we're gonna open it together. Guys, it is so addicting with Timu because they give you, like, you, you start adding stuff to your cart. And then they'll say, oh, you forgot something in your cart. Here's a coupon for 30% off or whatever, you know? So, it's so addicting. So, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Y'all, love that. Okay. And then I bought another one. This one is pink and pearls. Right? They're so pretty. We got another one. This one uh, is tulle in pearls. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's so pretty. Right? Then of course we had to get us some crochet um, one in there. Right? Beautiful. Alright y'all, so I bought another one of these as well. Okay, and then we're almost done. <laughs> um, I got this cute little charm. And um, these are earrings actually. And they're mushrooms. And I think they are so cute. I don't know if you can see that, but I think they're cute. So I'll figure something out. Um... They'll be on, in a journal. You guys will see them. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's that. And then I got this pretty um, ribbon lay, ribbon trim. That's what it's called, right? Got that one. And then I bought some more um, velvet ribbon. Um, get quite a bit, right? Brown and green. And then I got these. I don't know if it's... 
yeah, I think this is on a rib. Wait a second. Yeah, it's a ribbon. So I thought that was pretty, right? And then I figured you can kind of like um, cut them off or use it as trim all together. It's pretty. And then I got this right here. Cute, right? So it's like a tool trim, right? Okay, and I got this, and I thought it was really pretty. Look at that. You know what that is, don't you guys? Look at that mermaid. Isn't she pretty? Oh, guys, I'm so excited about the mermaid journal. I really am, um, but that's really pretty. Okay, so that's all I got with the laces from, um, so all this stuff is from Timu, okay? And then I got, of course, some more velvet ribbon from Joann's because it's Christmas time and they have the ribbon 60% off. So I go in and stock up. And then, guys, I got, I'm going to show you guys before I forget. Um, you know these from Tim Holtz and you know you can't find them anywhere where I can't. So they're, they're called his um, index clips, right? I can't find them anywhere and I've been looking everywhere for them. So I got book darts from Amazon, right? And of course the book darts are a lot thinner, but they still give the same aesthetic. Look if I can pick one up with these nails on, right? Um, so they still give the same aesthetic. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Like, so see? Right? And then, I mean, of course they're not as, you know, thick as the Tim Holtz ones, but, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, I mean, you could put, you can put like two or three things under there, underneath there and it'll uh, hold it. So, yeah. So, this is uh, my alternative to this one, okay? Because... You can't, I, look, I don't know where they are. And then this one <laughs> doesn't leave the, the rusty mark, you know. So you just take it up like that and it doesn't leave the mark. So I think these are a good alternative. So um, these will be linked in my Amazon, okay. If you guys want to um, use those instead of looking for these. Because these are so cool, but... I just don't know where to find them. And if you guys do know where to find them, just let me know. But just remember that these are thicker than these. But they still work, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. And God bless, guys.